Good afternoon and welcome to a very wet and windy Rosebill Stadium for the annual New Year's Day encounter between Warrington and Wigan. The teams this afternoon, Warrington line up at one, Brian Johnson, two, Des Drummond, at three, Paul Cullen, at four, Joe Rapati, at five, Dave Lyon, at six, John Woods, seven, Martin Crompton, eight, Les Boyd, at nine, Kevin Tamerton, ten, Tony Humphreys, eleven, is Bob Jackson, twelve, Ronnie Dwayne, and at thirteen, Billy McGinty. Substitutes for Warrington, fourteen, Gary Sanderson, fifteen, are Mark Roberts. Wigan, they line up at one, Steve Hampson, two, David Marshall, at three, Kevin Iro, four, Ellery Hanley, five, Jed Byrne, six, Sean Edwards, at seven, Andy Gregory, eight, Adrian Shelford, at nine is Martin Dermott, at ten, Brian Case, eleven, Graham West, twelve, Ian Gildart, and at thirteen, Andy Goodway. Substitutes for Wigan, fourteen, Richard Russell, fifteen, Ian Lucas. And the two captains... Kevin Tamati and Graham West meeting today is match officials, who is Kevin Allens of Southport, his touch judges at Mr Lloyd and Mr Barrett. Already the kickoff time being put back some five minutes to allow the huge crowds outside to get in in the region of eight, nine thousand on at the moment. What is always well the matches of the season. And the rain still coming down here. At Will Spoon been raining all morning. It's made very muddy indeed in the centre. And it'll be Wigan who'll get the game underway. Warrington will be playing from left to right in this first half as we look in the white jerseys with the Primrose and Blue V. Wigan in their usual colours at the cherry and white hoop jerseys and white shorts. And it's Kevin Iro who'll get the game underway. The young New Zealander signed by Wigan earlier this season. And this Stones better championship game between Warrington and Wigan underway. Bob Jackson slips but takes it safely and runs hard and strong immediately. Jackson crashing in and already a point thrown straight away by Adrian Shelford. Lucky didn't connect. It's on to Tony Humphreys. Humphreys crashes in. Wigan cover though quickly up this time. And already a little argument there between Shelford and Boyd. Shelford acknowledges Boyd. It goes out to John Woods. Woods kicks downfield and Shelford and Boyd have a little tangle. Well, Shelford just ran straight into Les Boyd there. And already a little argument. The ball did bounce into touch. And already in the first minute of the game, things begin to hot up in this annual New Year's Day encounter. Referee gives a scrum down. So, already action at the start. It results in a scrum down just outside the Warrington 25. Martin Crompton comes round to put the ball in for Warrington. Already both... Prop forward looking for supremacy and the referee is going to have a hard job this afternoon and Shelford there hitting Boyd, the referee doesn't see it, neither did the two linesmen. This has got to be some game here this afternoon as Bob Jackson takes it, swings it back to Rapati, Rapati crashes in. Graham West finally brings him down. Tamati swings it back to Dave Lyon. Lyon kicks downfield. It looks a good kick from Dave Lyon. Steve Hampson goes back for it. He'll pick it up right deep in his own 25. Runs straight. John Woods is there. Brings him down. Brian Johnson also. So we get in possession then. John Woods moves up quickly with a good tackle. Iro will take it in half. That goes on the blind side. And loses the ball. Picked up by Jackson, he drops it. Jackson tries to get back on it. And already the slipper conditions. Proving costly there for Bob Jackson. Going to be some handling mistakes today as Brian Case takes it. Good tackle from Les Boyd there coming in. Fishing off the tackle here. Made by Kevin Tamati. Martin Dermott gives a dummy, swings it on to Adrian Shelford. Shelford drives in the controversial figure. Sign there to the old St Helens already. He's in the action as Sean Edwards, my lost side, Andy Goodway. And Sean Edwards kicks, skids into touch on this near side. And that results in a scrum down, five yards inside the wing to half. Three once in the packs in the correct position, sending the Warrington back over. Now the Wigan pack moving over. Ball goes in, Crompton dives in for it, then runs into Andy Goodway and brought down. But Warrington in possession. Goes out with Woods onto McGinty. McGinty though drops it, kicks the ball back. Brian Johnson dives on it. 
that will be a knock on and really the awful conditions really going to spoil what could be a real titanic game already mistakes on both sides with just three and a half minutes gone this first half no real chances to talk about yet martin crompton gets ahead of andy gregory andy gregory has a talk to the referee that will give martin crompton a little bit of confidence as mcginty drives in Ellery Hanley, here's Bob Jackson, good tackle from Hanley, assisted by Shelford. Tower to this time to Joan Woods, Woods gives the dummy, tries to go through the centre, stopped by Ian Gildart. Tamati to Crompton, Crompton, he tries a little chip through, stopped by the knees of Steve Hampson. He then runs into Cullen, gets away from him, but Joe Rapati comes back with a good tackle along with Ronnie Dwayne, Kevin Iro goes himself in to play the ball, runs in hard, already players becoming covered in mud as Les Boyd comes in to push Iro back. This time it's out to Case, Case, good tackle from McGinty, an important one assisted there by Bob Jackson. Gregory, this is out, Edwards brings in West, get Good tackle coming in there from Roy Dwayne, stopping Graham West in his tracks. West then lies all over Ronnie Dwayne, he drops the ball and did not play that one correctly as Hanley moves in. Five tackles then for Wigan, this is a sixth. Midway inside the Wayne's in half, Gregory will take the acts in half back. Gregory goes himself, swings it onto Edward, Edward looks for the gap himself, swings it back to Gregory. Gregory onto Shelford, Shelford gets the ball back to Dermot, Dermot now onto Goodway. Goodway swings it back to Hampson, Hampson and a penalty given to Wigan, Les Boyd uh, pushing Andy Goodway. A chance perhaps here for Wigan to open the scoring with a penalty goal from Kevin Iro. So Kevin Angelo taking over the goalkeeping responsibilities for Wigan this afternoon. Joe Lydon just suspended and David Stevenson in dispute with the club. So Kevin Angelo chance to open the score and then strikes it well and goes wide. So first chance of the Game goes pegging, Iroh's kick going wide of the target. Score remains at Warrington nil, Wigan nil. But Wigan should regain possession with John Woods to drop out from his own 25-yard line. Woods fires one down the centre, picked up by Martin Dermott. Dermott runs in hard, McGinty's there. But Wigan a chance to launch their first real attack of the game. It's with Sean Edwards, Edwards short to Shelford. A white wall there waiting for him and pushing him back. And Gregory not buoyed off there. Gregory acknowledges Kevin Ellis. Gives Warrington a chance to put the ball deep into Wigan territory. David Lyon to put for touch then. Lyon makes no mistake with a fine kick from Dave Lyon. So Warrington then their first attack, their first real venture into Wigan territory. Tamati will take it. It's Humphreys' first receiver, Humphreys drives forward. He stopped on the Wigan 25 and pushed back. Tamati to Jackson, Jackson drives forward. Tamati, switch move here, Tamati goes to himself, turns it back to McGinty, knocks off one man, finally stuck there by Graham West, who's going through, wanting to know midway side the Wigan 25, it's on with Woods, Woods to Crompton, Crompton looks for a gap, gets the ball away to Rapati, Rapati just caught by a Kevin Iroh, just 10 yards from the Wigan line. Short one to Boyd, Boyd swings it back, Woods juggles with it, it's picked up by Boyd, but he's given offside, and it's a... Uh, Rico, it's been boiling over and we're off. And all 26 players. A 
Matt's over the Wigan try line to try and sort things out, to try and punch its other heads in. And play is being sent off. And referee talking to Les Boyd. Ten minutes in the sim bin for Les Boyd. And Les Boyd will spend ten minutes in the sim bin. Warrington protesting, yes, and Adrian Shelford being sent off. Brian Johnson there, good play from Brian Johnson. Spotted Adrian Shelford and been sent off. And Adrian Shelford, he goes off as well. So all action here at Willis Pool with just eight minutes gone. Les Boyd looks to have gone in the sim bin. Tony Humphreys looks like going in the sim bin as well. But he's been sent off. So we're just eight minutes gone, we've got three men off, Humphreys and Boyd of Warrington and Adrian Shelford of Wigan. Boyd though, just to the Simbin. So all action here. The referee talking to the Wigan bench. Tony Barry's there as well. Play resumes, Wigan have the ball with Case, Case drives in, McGinty and Dwayne pushing back, it's going to be one hell of a game here this afternoon. It goes out with West, good tackle from Reparty and McGinty. Wait at the moment then, down to 11 men, Wigan with 12 as Gregory takes it now. Gregory over that far side, well tackled by Bob Jackson. And a penalty given to Wigan. And the ball put into touch by Steve Hampson. Well, we're getting, getting plenty of possession in these first over next exchanges and plenty of penalties to go with them as well. As he swung across with Edwards, short one to Goodway. Goodway tried to drive through himself, turns. Ball smothered this time. Ronnie Dwayne and Joe Reparty in the tackle. Goes out with Hampson to Hanley. Hanley cuts back inside. Good tackle by McGinty and Dwayne again. Dermot this time, swings it short with Case, Case drives forward. Case still going, finally stopped on the Warrington 25 yard line. Couple of tackles left here then for Wigan. Dermot out with Edwards to Gregory, across the line it goes. Got runners from Hanley, Hanley, the ball loose. Case ahead by Edwards, the chase for the ball. Warrington dive on it. But the referee brings play back for a knock on and a scrum down. Referee's going to have him to take a very firm hold. He's already stamped his authority in these first 10 minutes, sending three players off. Boy to the Simbin. And Tony Humphreys and Adrian Shelford for good. A substitute being made already. Ian Lucas coming on for Ian Gildart with just 10 minutes gone. Important scrum then. Warrington just got four men in that scrum. Ball goes in. Wigan have it with Gregory. Edwards swings out with Hampson. Hampson, danger here. Iro through the gap. Iro still going. Gets the ball away. Johnson has him in the corner. Good tackle from Brian Johnson there. Try saving tackle. As it looked like David Marshall was going to go in the corner. Fine try saving tackle there. Iro got his pass out to Marshall on the wing. But Johnson came across, just got him into touch in the nick of time. Warrington under pressure there with hardly anybody in that scroll. The ball goes in. The ball loose. Crompton has it. Gregory drops it. Warrington, though, will be wanting to get out of their own 25 as quick as possible. Good storming run from Bob Jackson. Goes back with Lyon. Lyon kicks downfield over the head of Hampson. Hampson will pick it up just inside, midway inside his own half. Hampson then... Moves forward. Good tackle from Paul Cullen. Jed Byrne moves in field, hands it on to Hanley. Hanley going across field. 
Finds a huge gap, Hanley now storms forward. He's going for the corner, he's still, still Hanley onto Iro. Iro, Dave Lyon comes back and brings him down right on the line. Uh, length of the field movement from Wigan puts him just an inch or so from the Warrington line. Across with Hanley, Hanley dummies, goes back right. And he's pushed into touch. And Wigan missed a chance, possibly there, to put more pressure on the Warrington line as Hanley swung into touch over on that far side. Boston, it's all Wigan in these opening exchanges. Warrington, no doubt, would be anxious to get Les Boy back in the action as quick as possible. Gregory has it. Gives a dummy. Still Gregory. But Wigan there with five tackles, just five yards from the Warrington line. Goes out with Edwards. Edwards swings it out to Goodway. Goodway onto Hanley. The ball juggled about. Both to scrum down as the referee's decision. Attention out there. He's electric at the moment around the crowd. And the players really fired up for this important game. Warrington and Wigan both looking to take the points to close the gap on the leader's witness. Crompton puts the ball in, dives on it right on his own line, and then pushed over. And Warrington have to drop out from his own posts. Woods then drops out, comes to Hanley. Traps it with his foot, takes it safely, immediately hands it into the hands of Andy Goodway. Goodway storming down the centre, drops the ball. Warrington have it. Crunching tackle there from Bob Jackson. And Kevin Tamati also involved. It's out with McGinty. McGinty moves forward. Still McGinty trying to drive through. Stop by substitute Ian Lucas. Goes out to Dave Lyon. Lyon kicks downfield. Hampson traps it with his foot once more and takes it safely. Steve Hampson then moves in field. Still Hampson stopped by John Woodson, Bob Jackson. Sean Edwards. Still no points on the board. we have come up to 16 minutes gone. Wigan though have had all the chances as Gregory and he puts the ball straight into the hands of Martin Crompton, shakes his head in disgust. Warrington back in possession with Tamati, goes on the blind side, Tamati then drives in. Makes four or five yards before he's stopped by Gregory and Lucas over on that far side. Jackson acting halfback, swings it out with Crompton, short one to Dwayne. Three Wigan players all there to meet him. Tamati to John Woods, across to McGinty. McGinty looks to go through the gap himself. Stopped for an important tackle by Goodway and Edwards. Cullen to John Woods. Woods looking to go through himself. Six tackle then for Warrington. Cullen back to Crompton. Drop goal charge down, staying in the hands of Cullen to Reparty. Reparty knocks off one man, still Reparty to Cullen to Tamati, Tamati kicks through, well the referee had his hand up, it was the sixth tackle so there's nothing Tamati could do there, if he'd have got tackled it would have been the turnover. We ate a ball, Wigan will reach out the tap from the 25, and Les Boyd will come back on the field. Dermot taps it to Case. Case breaks one tackle. Good strong run from Brian Case. Plays it quickly. Lucas turns, looks to get the ball away but can't. There's boys still on the sidelines. Dermot to Gregory. West, West storms through. Important tackle coming in there from Ronnie Dwayne. It's taken this time by Andy Gregory. Gregory. It's a poor pass, but 
Should be picked up here. Another awful pass. Paul Cullen now. He couldn't fit the man to the ball. Drummond is free. Oh, he has to pick it up perhaps. He's about it awkwardly. Drummond is caught by Hampson. The ball goes back and Sean Edwards dives on it. And Whiten now coming closest to scoring. And a penalty given to Wigan. Once again, Wigan being let off the hook there with another penalty. It's taken with a quick tap by Goodway. Storms in. Well, I think Crompton held on strongly there, facing a tough run in Andy Goodway. Did well. Received help there from Jackson and Ray Dwayne. Lucas tried to get the ball away but can't. Still nil-nil. Les Boy finally allowed to be back on the field as Sean Edwards chips it through. Brian Johnson takes it. Johnson goes to support, finds it from Cullen out to Boyd. Boyd now drives forward, Boyd back to Cullen, good play here from Warrington. Cullen for a party, driving forward, it's a per play. And Cullen was laid out and he's been sent off. Andy Gregory it looks like, is it? Or is it Andy Goodway? Being sent off. And Paul Cullen stupidly there goes back. Stupid play from Paul Cullen. And the fight in the tour, will Andy Goodway have been sent off? And Paul Cullen, he came in with a right hook. And I think we'll be down to seven aside soon. And chaos round wheel spill at the moment. Is Paul Cullen still on the field? Just counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Warrington players. So Paul Cullen being sent off. Well, all action here. Paul Cullen looks to have been sent off after coming back on Andy Goodway, who'd already been sent off. So it's two off already from each side. Cullen and Humphreys to the wire. Shelford and Godway for Wigan. What drama here. John Woods has a chance to open the scoring. Strikes it well, but taken by Gregory onto Hanley. Hanley, it's 12 aside. Good tackle from Dwayne. Les Boyd in with a good tackle there along with Dwayne. Halfway through this first half, it's 12 aside and nil, it's 11 aside and nil nil. Brian Case, good tackle there from Jackson. So 11 plays each as Gregory chips it through. Bob Jackson had gone back well, he hopes the bounce favours him and he does. Fight anticipation from Jackson. Johnson on the blind side. Caught by Iro. Crompton to Jackson. It's going to take a loss out of both sides now. Just 11 plays each as John Woods moves forward. McGinty. McGinty stopped on the halfway line. John Woods out to Boyd. Boyd, lovely pass to Crompton. Crompton standing through the gap just as his heels tapped and he's going through. Six tackle there for Warrington. Midway side of the Wigan half. Boyd swings it to John Woods. Woods puts up a high kick, says for Hampson, Woods is falling it, Hampson takes it well. Hampson falls him, Woods dives, Hampson still going. Sean Edwards swings it out this time to West, to Hanley. Hanley looking to go through himself on the blind side, still Hanley. Good tackle from Drummond there, he really hit Hanley with a good one and the ball's loose. And he penalises Warrington. And he's penalised him for pinching the ball where Henry Hanley quite blatantly just dropped it with the force of the drum and tackle. A crunching tackle there from Des Drummond. Hanley felt the full force of it and he's still down. As Hampson puts the ball into touch and sets Wigan up on the attack. 
chances then here for Wigan. Dermot on to Graham West. Dermot swings it out to Case. Tamati hanging on well. Goes out with Gregory. Gregory looking for a gap himself. He's held over the line and he's on his back right over the Warrington line. Anxious moments here now for Warrington. Edwards brings in Lucas. Couple of tackles left here. Wigan just five yards. Dermot, Gregory. Gregory still going, and the referee spots an obstruction. Quite blatant there. Gives Warrington the penalty. With just over 15 minutes to go. Woods makes no mistake. What a first half we've had here so far, and still no points, but it's been action all the way. Bob Jackson, Jackson storms forward, good storming run from Bob Jackson. Tamati to Woods, Woods to Boyd, the ball's dropped. Dwayne kicks it on into the hands of Lucas, he's then caught by Tamati. Dermot swings it on this near side to Andy Gregory. Gregory, jinking about, swings it back, it's an awful pass. And a knock on from Brian Case. So a scrum down just inside the Wigan half. It's a four man scrum now. Gregory Edwards did well there. Still Edwards, but John Woods has him caught. Hanley. Still Hanley moving forward. He breaks two times.